Amen. He's just the way maker. We want to thank our devotional leader. We want to thank our choir for Amen. opening us up this, this evening. Amen. And let's, let's loosen up, let go, and let God have his way. Amen. Amen. I know we've all been in church this morning. Some tired, some hungry. Amen. But we're going we gonna to make it through this. Amen. Amen. So we are going to come now for the registration. Anybody that have not turned the res registration in, you may turn it in now. Uh, anybody need a registration form, just let us know. Remember that every member of your church, make sure you put them on your registration form uh, so we have a count of how many from your church. Uh, we, we are doing something here. We're trying to do something here. So we want to know, we're trying to get numbers on uh, fifth Sundays of how many we have for church. Amen? Amen. Amen. God is not dead. He is alive. Yes, yes. Amen. Right. Amen. 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 Right. I, I just talked to him not long ago. All right. Amen. He, he's still alive. Yes, 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 yes. Amen. The scripture, okay. scripture here is still true. That he did get up. Yeah. And I, I never had read nowhere where he laid back down. Amen. 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 So we ought to be joyful in spite of what we face each and every day. Amen. 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 I guess everybody pretty much has, has given in. I don't see nobody moving. Amen. Nobody said that they need a form. So we. Amen. Amen. To the. To the Preachers and the pastors that's out in the audience, well, we'd like to welcome you if you would like to be uh, up here. If you'd like to come up here, we're glad to see Brother Harris, Pastor Harris, and Pastor Paula. Amen. Amen. And the Amen. Other preachers that are here, we're just glad to see all of you. Amen. Amen. We just want to welcome you up here if you would like to come. If you want to stay by those pretty ladies, I understand. Amen. 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 I understand, brother. You don't get that. You don't get that too often. Amen. I, I understand. I understand. Amen. Amen. Been a good day. Thank God for things as well as it is. Amen. 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 Give me a give me another no piece of a song, brother Mike. <laughs>
be able to go back to our classes and start our, our classes, individual classes. Right now, we just want to say a few words before our speaker come up. Amen. 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 Because uh, we all need a word. Amen. And today, we want to just talk about confession. All right. All right. Confession. And we're going to be looking at Daniel. Right. The ninth chapter, verses three through six. All right, all right. Dealing with confession, because confession is something uh, that we overlook. Amen. Yes. As lights of Christ, and that's one of the things that we have to do, because we've all fallen. Yes, sir. We all come short. Yes, sir. Yes. We all do things. Of Think things we ought not to do. All right. All right. And it calls for repentance. All right. All right. Amen. Amen. We, we sometimes act like that what we do is all right. We don't have to go and ask for forgiveness. All right. But it's about repentance. All right. uh, if we look, look at Daniel, Daniel in the book, Daniel, the ninth chapter, Daniel's first priority was prayer. His prayer was not a shout of praise All right. or a happy song of thanksgiving. All right. Nor was it a plea for wisdom to organize the people for their trip. He did not pray for adequate funding or request that God would move the new rulers in support and return of the Jews to Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. Daniel just began his prayer with a prayer of confession. Right. 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 You know, a lot of time, a lot of time when it comes to prayer, a lot of us don't pray until we get in trouble. Right. 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 Some don't pray till they want something. Right. Right. And then when it seemed like God didn't give them what they prayed for. They said, it seemed like we said, God, get on out of my face. But all of us have something to confess. All of us. Amen. There are sin that sin we know we do. There are sin that we don't know we do. Amen. So it calls for a confession. In verse 3, it's in Daniel 9, Daniel said, And I set my face uh -huh. upon the Lord God to seek by prayer and supplication uh -huh. with fasting and sackcloth and ashes. Mm -hmm. All right. That was their way of, of, of coming to God. You know, when you start talking about fasting, a lot of us act like if we miss two hours, we're going to starve to death. Amen. Amen. And, I, and I, I, I said, if we fed our spirit yeah. like we fed our body, yeah. it would be some saved folks around here. Yeah. Amen. Amen. But, 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 but we just can't go without that biscuit. Uh -huh. Amen. Yeah. We can't go without that coffee. I got to have that coffee. Amen. 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 We, we, we got to have it. But, but David set his face unto the Lord mm -hmm. to seek the Lord. Freedom calls for rejoicing and celebration. But sin calls for sorrow. Mm -hmm. All right. S I N. Okay. We don't hear much about sin. All right. When we go to church, we want the preacher to preach something that's going to make us happy. All right, all right. But the word before it makes you happy, well, it ought to convict you. And we get too many folk coming into the church and they leave in the name of the Sin, S I N. I hope y'all come back to the Congress again. Help us today. Get your mess. But sin is on a rampage. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. 
And we look out in the world, but you don't have to look out in the world to look in the sanctuary. All right. All right. All right. All right. Sin. sin. When we sin, we ought to have a sorrowful heart. Well, now I might be wrong. I, I, I never read anything where it showed where Daniel did anything. Uh -huh. And I know he's a, he's a sinner just like everybody else. Uh -huh. But I've never read anything, if I'm wrong, y'all can tell me, Reverend, that they showed anything that Daniel had done against right. God. Uh -huh. But it said Daniel prayed a confession prayer. All right. Why? Because even though maybe Daniel didn't do it, but he was around what was going on. And in some ways, the sins that go on around us, we are responsible for. We don't tell folks when they're wrong because we want to stay on that good side. But there was a man that told him, man, look here, you ain't supposed to be with your brothers. Why? Now he got in trouble. But he stood on the word. He lost his head. But the Bible says, if you lose your life for my sake, you shall find it. And a lot of times we'll lose our life if something ain't worth a hill of being and die and go to hell than to die for the cause of Christ. Right now. He came, he called for sorrow. Yeah. For mourning. Well. And repentance. The ancient symbol of these were fasting. Going without food. Well. Wearing rough and uncomfortable sackcloth. Uh -huh. And putting ashes All right. on one's head. Yeah. Yeah. Going without food. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I, 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 I be like, food. I, I know sometimes food. I, I, I get to eat. <laughs> Bro, Paula eats too much and I just look like I ought to be strong, but I get weak. Uh -huh. Overfeeding your body with physical food will weaken you and push you to sleep. Happy don't want to do nothing but lay around. But when you get that spiritual food, you want to go tell somebody about a man that can help anybody. His name is Jesus. So, so Daniel made a confession. He prayed a prayer of confession, mm -hmm. but he was praying for the whole nation. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. that's right. uh -huh. And that's what we need to do. Uh -huh. right. We need to pray for one another. That's right. Right. Lord God. Yeah. If you got, if you feel like you got it all together, pray for somebody else. All right. All right. I don't mind you calling my name. Right. Right. It don't make any difference how many times you call it. You can call it 50 times a day. I don't care. All right. Oh, my name. Amen. 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 Yeah. Verse number, number four said, And I prayed unto the Lord my God, and made my confession, and said, O Lord, the great and dreadful God, keeping the covenant and mercy to them that love him, and to them that keep his commandments. Now, that's a confident word, too, for us to help us know, as the Sunday school lesson was talking about. You know, sometimes we get weary Amen. because of things going on to us and around us. Uh -huh. Seem like against us. Well, we sometimes want to give up. Yeah. But it's a confident word to know that in spite of what we are going through, uh -huh. that yeah. all of that go in one day. In. Mm -hmm. Daniel acknowledged the nature of God who heard his prayer. Yeah. God is not like one of the powerless pagan idols. He mm -hmm. is a great God. Yes. 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 God is big enough to fill earth and heaven. Uh -huh. 
and mighty enough to do anything he want to do. Amen. Well, yes. God is an awesome God. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Today, this word has been cheaper to describe just about anything, even mildly pleasant. Well, the word actually combines a sense of dread with that of veneration and wonder. Uh -huh. It describes a reverence to which no human is entitled. All right. You know, we said we said somebody's awesome or something is awesome, and God is awesome. All right. Amen. 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 God is awesome. God alone is dependable. He provides every good he promised. Amen. You can stand on his word. Amen. Whatever God promised, he will and can deliver. Right. Amen. Amen. He may not come when you think you ought to show up, but Amen. God is an on time God. Yes, he is. I heard somebody say, God is the only somebody that's late but still on time. Yes. Huh? Yes. I can be late. You don't, you don't believe that, do you? Mary and Martha sent word to Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Told him about this moment. That, 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 that the one whom he loved is sick. Yeah. And Jesus, didn't, Jesus didn't get in no hurry to get over that. Jesus said, we're going to wait. We're going to wait, wait a few days. <laughs> but then he got word. He said, that, that's all right. Don't worry about coming, Jesus. Lazarus sleep. Well, the disciples said, well, if he sleep, he does good. He that, that's no need us bothering him. He's sleep. Jesus said, you don't understand. Lazarus is dead. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, and he said, now let us go yeah. to Bethany. And they left and they went. And, and Jesus had a purpose behind that. Yes. Four days. Was it four days, three days, four, four days? days? Four days. Four days. Four days. Four days. Four days. And it was because, I, 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 logically they said it was because and three day, up to three days, they believed that life would come back into the body. That's right. That's right. But after the fourth day, yeah. there was no help. Yeah. So Jesus waited until that time, that fourth day, because they felt like there was no help. Uh -huh. And Jesus showed up. Yes, he did. And the one that should have trusted Jesus, right. should have believed that he could do it, Said, Lord, he's dead now. Right. He, been, he probably sank it. Yeah. Right. Jesus said, you don't forgot who I am. Right. And that's the same way it is when we get into trouble, when we get in some problems in our life, we forget about who Jesus is. Yeah. Right. Jesus never changed. Right. Right. Say he has all power. I heard it in the prayer. He said, he, he said, not black power, not white power, but all power. So whatever you're going through, don't give up. God is working in your behalf. All things work together for the good for those that love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. It doesn't matter what you're going through. It's working for your good. We got to learn to see the good in the bad. Amen. We see bad when Jesus, when they, when they mocked Jesus, when they whipped him, when they put him in a grave, when they hung him on a cross, when they buried him in a tomb. We see that bad. But there's good in him. He, he died for our sin. He got up. That we may have life. Amen. He hadn't got up. We'd have been in bad shape. We'd been in bad shape. Daniel Crabb was one of confession. I'm fitting to get ready to sit down. Perhaps we acknowledge that we are sinners well, in our public and private prayer. But do we confess specific sins? When you sin, what do you do? Push it to the side. They're going to come back on you. Ask David. When David took that man, little E lamb, out of all of the lamb he had, he took somebody else. And years went by. Uh -huh. And David had forgot all about it. Oh, wow. God sent to God, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. To tell him about his sin. Yes, but one thing about it, if, if, if you sin and even forgot about it, and God sent somebody your way or sent a word to you, if you got the spirit of God, you do like Daniel. What did Daniel do? Daniel confessed his sin. Have mercy upon 
transform me, O God. According to my to, to thy loving kindness. According to thy tender mercy. Blot out my transgression. Amen. A lot of times we pray telling God to do something to somebody else. We need to be asking to do it to us. So 1 John 1 9 says, if we confess our sins, God is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and cleanse us from our unrighteousness. We need to, we need to clean up. Amen. We need to confess to God our sin. Yes, we do. Because He's the only one that can cleanse us. I don't care what sin you've done. You can use some Ajax if you want. It ain't gonna clean. You can use some pine saw. It ain't gonna clean. Amen. But when you call on the Lord and you call for mercy, God will show up. Because mercy breaks Him down. Have mercy upon me, oh God. That's, somebody was on the morning bank. Some of you older folk. We don't, we don't talk too much about no morning bank now. But, but we said, we, we didn't say no long prayer. We just said, Lord, have mercy. We needed some mercy upon us because we realized that we were on our way to hell. Wasn't fit to live and wasn't ready to die. We said, Lord, have mercy. And when you said mercy to God, God will show up. When he show up, he'll show up. Do you think we give enough attention in the church and in our personal lives to confession of sin? Why, why not? Why is confession so difficult? Why is it so hard? Because we feel like it takes our manhood. Our womanhood. All right now. All right. But Jesus, Jesus was humble. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. It don't hurt nobody to say I was wrong. Amen. If you if you, you you feel like you can't say you was wrong when you was wrong, you need to check yourself. All right now. Amen. Because a true child of God, a disciple of Christ, won't have any problem saying I was wrong. Forgive me. What can the church do to encourage this practice by our members? Number five, talk about says sins. We have, we have sinned and have committed iniquity mm -hmm. and have done wickedly mm -hmm. and have rebelled even by departing from the precepts and from thy judgment. Okay. Neither have we hearkened thy servant, yeah. the prophet. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Unto thy servant, the prophet, which spake in the name to our kings, our prince, and our fathers, and to all the people of the land. Uh -huh. O Lord, righteousness belongs unto you. Yes. But unto us, confusion of faces. Uh -huh. As at this day to the men of Judah and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem and to all Israel, that are near and that are far through all the countries, whether thou hast driven them because of their trespasses, that they have trespassed against thee. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, Lord, to us belong confession of faith to our kings, to our prince, and to our fathers, because we have sinned against thee. Uh -huh. And a lot of things are happening because we have sinned against God. Uh -huh. God still loves us. But he, he sometimes he allows Catastrophes, he allow other things to come to open our eyes, to turn us back to him. Right. Amen. 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 Sometimes that's all we know. Uh -huh. He know hard time. To the Lord our God belong mercies and forgiveness, mm -hmm. though we have rebelled against him. Uh -huh. Most of the people of Israel did not have God's law in their living room for daily reading. As we now have the Bible. How much dust on them? However, that did not provide any excuse for their disobedience. Mm -hmm. Repeatedly, God has sent his prophets to remind his people of his law and to urge them to be obedient. Mm -hmm. The prophet presented their message to all the people of the land, uh -huh. from the king in his place to the humblest peasant. God's actions should have produced a sincere 
and nationwide repentance. Yes. And I noticed something. We as black people have gotten quiet. When we were closer to God, Amen. when we were living from meal to meal, Amen. when we didn't have no meat, Amen. when we had just biscuit and butter, yeah. we were closer to God. We were more faithful to God. But now that God has blessed us with more, we have put him on the shelf. We have forgotten what God has done for us. We have forgotten what God has brought us from. Yes, sir. Daniel's continued prayer is recorded in verses 7 through 17. Repeatedly, he acknowledged the goodness of God and the sinfulness of himself and his people. He noted that God had done nothing to provoke such despicable behavior as that which his people had shown toward him. Mm -hmm. They had turned from him, mm -hmm. rejecting his love, yes. and choosing to follow other gods. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, when we look, as our lesson, Sunday school lesson this morning was talking about that hidden treasure, yes. we are here in the world, we're looking for ways to get rich. Yes. Yes. Looking over the greatest treasure there ever is. Yes. Treasure that will, will carry you to eternity. And his name is Jesus, the Son of God. If you ever want to be rich, you ought to try Jesus. Jesus, he's able to heal all manner of sickness. He's even able to raise the, the dead. Jesus gives sight to the blind. That same Jesus died on Calvary Cross for your sins and mine. Let us learn to confess our sin because if we confess our sin, God will forgive us. Let's practice on confessing our sin. Amen. Amen. At this time, we're going to let our choir come. And following our choir, we're going to have our speaker. We're going to let the choir come, then we're going to let them come down. His choir is going to come up. Amen. They're going to